two, yes. then two minus one is one. Okay, so Abdullah says number one. See, we're learning maths on the series as well, guys. Number one for Mario. We're not learning any number maths. Because <laughs> I got it wrong. Number one for Abdurrahman Kuri. South Dubai. In association with Gifters, your halal family friendly restaurant. <laughs> Okay. I like Chris Pinky Pterodactyl. Tia Pterodactyl, we're doing an important story today. <laughs> so now we're in the second year after Hijrah. Huh? Second year of Hijrah means. No, it's the second year. No, we're in the second year after Hijrah. What does Hijrah mean? Who knows? Everybody at home, what does Hijrah mean? The second year after Hijrah. Are you asking? I'll ask uh, you. Uh, can you ask me? <laughs> Do you know what it means? Make sure you click subscribe before you go on. Uh, after they're migrated from my Kispadina. Excellent. Did you know that, Adam? I know that. Okay, I'll ask you the next question. What does migrate mean? Migrated means like moving. Excellent. When they move, move from one city to another, Excellent. I studied that when I studied water. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> so, I don't know. So, everybody, they migrated the Muslims from Mecca to Medina. Now, Abdul Rahman, the Muslims, they were in this battle we were talking about in the last episode against the Quraysh. What was the name of the battle? Bahad. Not Bahad. <laughs> that's a combination of Bahad. Bahad. No. Badr. Badr. You're close. You're close. Bahad. Now, Adam, listen there's to this. Listen to this. There is a sword to Quraysh. There is a sword to Quraysh. But listen what happened in the battle. Everybody oh, at home. Yeah, and the Prophet Muhammad <laughs> sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's tooth fell out. No, not in this one. Something different that happened. No. Something different <laughs> happened, everybody. So, the, the Muslims, everybody, they were in a battle. There were a thousand of the Quraysh. And only 300 of the Muslims, okay? A thousand of Quraysh and only 300 of the Muslims. Can I guess something? Oh, hold on, let me tell you one. To be precise, 313, Shaytan came to the battle, Adam. Shaytan? Yes, and he came as, in the form of somebody known as Suraka ibn Malik. So, Abdullah, do you remember who Suraka ibn Malik was? Can I guess? You can have a guess, yes. Rabbi zidni ilma. Don't forget your Azhari Raptor from the Azharis.com. Be the person that was following them when they were migrating. Yes, he and was. Then, and then, and and he, then he fell in the quicksand and then the camel, and then the camel went crazy. <laughs> the horse wouldn't go forward, yes. And so, Shaitan came in the form of Surah al Malik and he said, huh? You can trust me, I will protect you in this battle. No. Adam. No, if Shaitan, he will, he will fight. He will fight. Prophet Muhammad. Muhammad Muhammad. But let me ask Adam. Adam, was Shaitan telling the truth when he said he will help he and lies. protect? No, he wasn't. He, he wasn't. lies. He does. Now, Adam, I want you to act something, and everybody here, I want you to try and guess what Adam's acting, okay? okay. Adam, okay. this is what I want you to act. I don't know. Okay, stand up here and show everybody at home. Everybody at home, see if you can guess what this word is. What's Adam? Look over there and tell me. What's Adam oh, doing? Oh, oh. What do you think the word is? Dua. Well done, guys. Well done. All right, come back. So everybody, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he turned to the qibla, he raised his hands and he started making dua. For him. And then dua to, that the Muslims would win. And then he took some dust, Mariam. Dust. And he threw it. Yeah, dust from the because it was in the desert. So he took sand. Oh, some oh, some sand. Picked it up like that, and then he threw it. At the Quraysh, and it ended up in their eyes. Yes, I knew it was going to go in their eyes. Now, Mariam, what happens if you have dust in your eyes or sand? Then you can't see. Then, like your eye, you have to like close your eyes and like get water. And you have to like put clean water in your eyes and you can, like blink a lot, and it really hurts. Exactly. So the Quraysh, they were blinking; they couldn't see. Now, do you know what happened next, Abdurrahman? 
Shots. No, Dilla, do you know what happened next? It went in No. Do you know what happened next, Adam? No. To find out. You have to do after the competition time. Yes, after competition time. We're at home with the Azari. Everybody watching at home, I want you to open up your workbooks. Go past the code breaker page, past the sticker page and past the reward chart until you reach the last page for this particular episode. What you will see there is competition time. I'm going to ask a question and in your workbooks you'll find two possible answers. I want you to circle what you think is the correct answer as fast as you can and let's have a competition to see if you at home can beat the Azeris here. You get two points for every correct answer. Question number one, everybody. When we put our shoes on, do we put our left shoe on first or our right? If you think it's left, write number one. If you think it's right, put number two. What do you say, Adam? One or two? Right or left? Right. Adam said number two. Abdurrahman? Number two. Mariam, number two. And Abdullah? Two, two minus two plus two. Excellent, number two. So the correct answer is number two, well done. We put our right shoe on first. Well done, everybody. Everyone got the correct answer, mashallah. So everyone moves up the leaderboard. Question number two, everybody. Which animal was sent to the Prophet Saleh? Was it number one, a camel, or number two, a snake? <laughs> Which animal was sent to Prophet Saleh? Let's go to Abdullah. Wait, what's number one? Camel. Okay. And number two is snake. What number do you think? Number one plus two minus one minus one. So that's zero. No. <laughs> okay, number Mar one plus two is three. Then three minus one yes. is two. Yes. Then two minus one is one. Okay. So Abdullah says number one. See, we're learning maths on the ad series as well, guys. Number one for Maria. You're not learning any number maths. One. Because I got it wrong. Number one for Abdurrahman. Correct. The correct answer is number one, a camel. Everyone got the correct answer, mashallah. So everyone moves up the leaderboard. Question number three, everybody. What was the name of Prophet Musa alayhi salam's brother? Was it number one, Harun, or number two, Haman? <laughs> Right number oh, one, if you think it was it Haman? Might be. Right, right number two, if you think it was Haman. Let's go to Adam. Don't know. You don't know. Okay, that's okay. Adam, Wait, that's why we're learning. Why would it be Haman? Why would it be Haman? Okay, Adam, have you got an answer now? Haman is a girl's name. Number, that's a boy's name. It's a girl's uh, name. Number one, Father Haman. Number one, Mariam. Number one, and Abdullah, number one. So the correct answer is Harun was the name of Prophet Musa, alayhi yes, brother. Well done. Why would Everyone got the correct answer, mashallah. So everyone moves up the leaderboard. Now coming back to the battle, everybody, the way the battles used to start, there'll be one person from each side that will go out and they would fight. Okay, so it'd be one on one. Or did they go in circles and then fight? No. So you'd have the Muslims here and the Quraysh were here. Then yeah, one would come out from each side. Out, and then fight then they would again. fight. Wah, and this would wah, happen. Wah, wah. Wow. Yes, like that maybe. And there'll be three of them. Yeah! So, so, not like that. But there'll be three Muslims. There are three one-on-one -on -one battles, okay? Now, the Muslims, they want all three. They want all three of their battles, okay? Yes, because they're Muslims. <laughs> okay. And then everybody started to join in. Even the angel Jibreel came down with the angels. The angels oh, came to this happen. battle, Adam. The angels came yeah. to fight. To I fight. How many angels were there? Angels. Did you know that? Yeah. Have a guess. Don't forget your Azhari stories from the Azharis.com. The biggest angel was Angel Jibreel. Angel Jibreel, but he came. There was eight! I love it, the love show. You think eight? You think eight? How many do you think, Mariam? How many angels do you think came down to the battle? I would say there are like 7,700 oh. angels made today. No. Close, close, 7,700 close. Abdullah, give me a number. 887. That's 887. No. There were a thousand angels that came down. I and was then. Scared. I said 
that yeah, was closest. But, but wait, I haven't finished. Oh, then Allah, wait, hasn't finished yet. Allah then sent 2,000 more. So Abdullah, how many is now then? 2,000. We just done that in competition time. Yeah, so what's the answer? 1 plus 2 plus. Is how many? 1,000. One there are 1,000 angels. It's the Allah same amount of questions 2, that are in competition time. Three. It's 3,000. 3,000, good. And then, Abdurrahman, Allah sent another 2,000 angels. So how many angels are there now? 6,000, 5,000. <laughs> 5,000, well done, okay. 5,000. So, the Muslims, they won the battle because they had the angels there helping them as well. And then there were 70 of the Quraysh that died and 70 that were taken as prisoners. Captives, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask Aunt Adam. The angels bad or good? They're goodies. Yeah. Jibreel was uh, Angel Jibreel. Angel Jibreel, yeah, he was in the battle. So and he could wreck so many people maybe. with his wig because he is so big. He was very big, isn't it? But no one could see him. So he would have just been like, hello, time to kill. <laughs> I don't know about that. But Adam, we said that 70 of the Quraysh were killed and 70 were taken as prisoner. What is a prisoner? <laughs> People go to prison. Excellent, when people go to prison. What's now, 70 to 70? 140. 140, excellent. So now, that Marian. means there was 140 Quraysh. And there was thousands. more angels, then that means they must have. There, there, Only... there was a thousand, so what? maybe they let the other ones. No, so there were a thousand, yeah, a thousand Quraysh. Some of them escaped. 70 were killed and 70 were taken by the Muslims as prisoners. But Mariam, I have a question for you. Yes. Abu Bakr said, okay. Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr Siddiq said, His we should ransom friend. them. Yes. Oh. Because of them. Umar said, we should kill the 70. What do you think the Prophet ﷺ did? None of them? No. If he, he chose between one of them, either ransoming them or killing them. What's ransoming? What does ransom mean exactly, Abdullah? What does ransom mean? Let them free. Let them free. Or what does it mean, Mariam? To like trade. So, yeah, so they, they would pay money and then they could go back and live their normal life, go back to their home. So the Muslims, they had 70 that they had captured. Now, the Muslims are so kind even to their enemies. Do you know what happened at dinner time? They didn't kill them. Yeah, but do you know what happened at dinner time? They gave them dinner. They gave them food, but not only that, the Muslims, they would eat dates. They like oh. spread the bees. <laughs> no, it's not like that. But Fred instead of giving the prisoners dates, they would give them even better food. They would give them bread and other food. But and they treated them. better than dates. There was nice food. So they treated them even better. And do you know what happened? Some of those that were prisoners actually became, became Muslim. Became and Muslim. then they became Muslim. And then after that, they were uncaptured. They were let free. Yeah. Now, That's the lesson I want everybody to learn today is when you, you give don't something. Be bad. You don't be bad, but when you, when give, you some... give something, then you get something better from Allah. Exactly. Chocolate. That's so true. you won't get anything better from because Allah. Because I want to give you something better, inshallah. How are you going to give us something better if you don't give us that now? Because, I because would... you might die tomorrow. We you might die tomorrow. Why you might die tomorrow? We all Silly might die tomorrow. Bug, daddy. <laughs> Silly bug, daddy. Okay, hold on. Let me tell everyone. Right. But... So, everybody at home, the but most important bugs. lesson we have today is that not Abdullah's Bugs Bunny teeth, but the most important lesson is that when we give something to other people that's better than what we have, Allah will give us something better in return, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, everyone say Islamic at the end of the episode. Bye bye from us and the Bugs Bunny. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's subscribe now. Click like. Don't forget your workbooks and your Azhari dinosaurs from the Azhari.com. We'll see you soon, inshallah.